What we see in this year's um, Global CEO Survey is that there is consistent with the prior year uh, correlation between the outlook of South Africa CEOs and global CEOs. However, whereas 2018 saw a record jump in optimism by both South African and global CEOs, this year we do see a sharp drop um, in that optimism or in other words a record jump in pessimism more so by the global CEOs than their South African counterparts. The territories that are um, earmarked for future growth by South African uh, CEOs include uh, the United States, uh, China and the UK uh, and this is consistent with what we saw in last year's uh, survey. Um, the, the initiatives that um, uh, CEOs and organizations out there are planning to um, improve or grow the revenue base are mostly inward looking or internally focused initiatives. Um, initiatives such as organic growth um, or the introduction of operational efficiencies. Um, CEOs are having to navigate quite a challenging environment going forward. Some of the key challenges that they have cited include uh, policy and economic uncertainty, um, socio-political uh, uh, stability is a key issue. Um, threats such as terrorism um, also remain in the frame. Um, so there are a number of wide-ranging wide -ranging, um, factors that CEOs have cited for, for risk. Um, we think that CEOs out there are going to be more cautious than what they are last year. CEOs are expecting the global economic uh, the global economy to decline over the next 12 months and that means we may see um, a slight decrease in investment. We may see organizations around the world tightening uh, their belts um, until some of the uncertainty that remains on the horizon um, is reduced somewhat. Um, until we see um, the threat of nationalism and populism abating, until we have certainty on something like Brexit um, and some of the tensions in the EU, uh, we will continue to see CEOs being more cautious than what they have been previously.